Maggie, Maggie, today is the day Daddy's gonna make you a mud bath. You want that? Well, watch your bath, I watch your bath. <laughs> okay, you lazy girl. <laughs> How cute they are. Look at they're sleeping. Come on, shall we go walkies? You lazy things. I guess it's walkies without the girls today. This beautiful milking station we built a couple of weeks ago and it cost us less than 30 euros. But we do still need to finish it off. But for now I'm going to cover the sides and it isn't going to cost us another penny. Well, that is as much as I'm going to get done for today. And I can hear Luke and Dirk working on something special. I think you probably guessed what it is. But one second, you haven't even met Dirk yet since he arrived last week. So, over to Dirk.
Hey you guys, the Stickman is back! <laughs> for your regular viewers, you probably know what that means. Uh, for your new viewers, welcome. And uh, let me explain a little bit. My name is Dirk and I work as a volunteer here uh, this summer at Luke and Sarah's place. Last year, I was also here and I was uh, surveying that land also, like uh, the living quarters and the ruin and some other details here, like the pond. And back then I enjoyed it so much and I said like, oh, I'll be back next year. If you want, I'll survey some more land. And they said, of course, yeah. But then I said like, but then you have to clear some land eh, from Bramble and Broom because otherwise this old body is gonna take it <laughs> no more. It's uh, too harsh for me. Eh? And then Luke said, well, no problem. I'll clear some land. Well, that some land. Uh, well, actually, let me show you. So over here, you have the lava rock I'm going all the way down. It's all being cleared by Bramble and Broom. And also here, everything cleared. Broom and Bramble. And this also, this is the end of the top plateau. It's all being cleared of Bramble and Broom. And also here, one plateau, here. All here, through the middle, it's pretty nice. And you never guessed it, but this plateau also nice and Never does it. Everything clears. No broom and bramble. I think you got the message. <laughs> There's been happening a lot eh, here uh, the last year. Um, actually, I did a rough uh, estimation on my computer and it was actually 10,000 square meters. So that means, like uh, for you Europeans, that's uh, two football fields totally cleared of bramble and broom, eh? not just grass. Eh? <laughs> it's, the riding of the grass is easy, but the bramble and the broom, they like hell. And for your Americans, uh, just as a reference, there are uh, two uh, soccer fields. So uh, yeah, just uh, to give you a reference. So yep, I better stop talking and get on to it. We have such big plans for this place, such big dreams, and sometimes they seem almost impossible. But when Dirk came along and started giving us his advice, his time and expertise, we realized that we can do this. Oh my goodness, Dirk, thank you so much for everything you are doing for us. We really appreciate it. You are supposed to be having a holiday first, unwinding from your busy life. And he hasn't stopped over here. He's been surveying, he's been digging, he's been jackhammering which I will show you in a minute. But first, I'll show you who doesn't need a holiday. Alfie. Mm. I know. It's okay, it's okay. It's me. Life goes. Because I got the camera, then all the goats came. <laughs> I get down with me now two buckets uh -huh. and four bottles of water. Uh, yeah, but sometimes I need a backup as well. I put a bucket over there. Mm -hmm. But sometimes these two dumbbells want it on them instead. So I carry it all down so everyone gets to drink. And these are wearing it. And then no one has any water. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie, your eye mask looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait for it. <laughs> oh no, Peppa! 
Oh. <laughs> what was I saying about the water? Mm. Molly, you're going to get wet. Oh, Molly. <laughs> and I love how she goes down like that too, eh? She's so yes. funny. Yes, like, stretching. <laughs> yoga. <laughs> Whoop. Wow, how tall you are, Maggie. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. They pay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> She just got up from here. You know? yeah. <laughs> I didn't come very far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You didn't really come very far. So Dirk is here. Hi, hey Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, been surveying our land. Yep. And every year he does a bit more. And it's like an amazing jigsaw puzzle of our land, which is awesome. But also with him, he got, among many other good tools, this beast. Let me not drop it in the water. Booyah! Let's see what kind of damage it can do. The pond, well, the pond, I'm calling it already. <laughs> the water hole stays with water, right? Yeah. It's always got. Yeah. But we might as well try and make it big enough for two piggies. <laughs> Let's start with that, and then we'll see about ponds. Maggie, you're gonna do some digging for me, please. Do the digging, lazy little girl. <laughs> yeah, with you with your drilling nose. Come on. Yeah, go on, Maggie. <laughs> yeah. Like, there help. you go. I'll help, guys. Yeah. Even uh, I just she's woke loving up. it. Even though it's noon and I just woke up. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me some milk and I'll be there. <laughs> Okay, next up, Dirk the Stone Crusher.
no, yeah, it's coming, uh, the water is coming in now. So. You can really see it now. From here. Mm -hmm. Look at it. I think we're going to stop here for today and just wait how to see how it fills up. But it's definitely filling in quicker. Have a look. You see those clouds there? So we've definitely made a, a dent so much faster than mine. Let's see how it is tomorrow. Not bad, not bad. Alrighty, oh, I've been at it all day. It's about six o'clock, I reckon. Not bad, eh? <laughs> Look at that surface area. It's like uh, 60 to, to 70 centimeter diameter, I think, from what was this big, you know? So it's filling in pretty quick. There's two veins or whatever, anyway, spouts of water coming out. There's two there and there's one there. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, yeah, it's already big enough for two piggies, I think. And they can have their spring-fed spa carved out of rock. How posh they are, these pigs. <laughs> Nearly looks like a heart, eh? I'm kind of tempted to, to do it heart-shaped so it can be the love spa. <laughs> awesome. Big enough for a pig spa, but this job is definitely not finished because there's more to this and I think I might want to make a human spa a wee bit bigger and then maybe a canal coming off it with a little pig one because <laughs> I don't want to take it away from them eh? but this seems like it's gonna be awesome come and see Pat see if you like this Stefan Magikou. Nice, huh? Now I'm just gonna have to get mud and put it in there. Peppa, stop digging. They obviously think it's not big enough for them. I'll have to tell Luke. <laughs> Molly, you want to come do the digging for moles? Come. Dig. Dig, Molly. Clever girl. Clever, clever Molly. Thank you. Good girl. Dig, dig, dig. What a helpful girl you are. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, this is really good. soil is really really nice look at it it's really good for the garden actually but we're gonna give it to the pigs instead to wallow in because we love them more than we love food 
<laughs> this is beautiful. I mean, it's not mud, it's amazing soil. Look at it all. Algae, um, wood, leaves, everything decomposing over years and years. And the pigs are going to have this all over their body. Come on, girls. Come on, Peppa, look, it's muddy. Maggie wants to get in, Peppa, move. There's space for both of you if you don't hog it all. Hey, let me grab this side for you. Maybe you flop that side. Go, flop that side. It's flop zero side. deep, it is, girls. Hi guys, look what I'm reading, look what I'm reading guys. Shall we see if this book can tell us how to stop the ghost from headbutting you? Hmm? <laughs> Thank you so much Isabel for my lovely books. I really need them. And I really especially need this ghost keeping logs book. I've been trying to think how I'm going to make my own, but I put it on the Amazon wish list. And here it is now. Thank you so much. Well, doesn't that mud box look amazing? Even Molly wanted to have a go, eh, Molly? Huh? Anyway, I think that is it from us for today. But thank you guys for watching. Oh, you're leaving before we can say bye. But thank you guys for watching and have an awesome week ahead. Bye.